Anyway, let's just focus. We've got Blythe next. Our season's almost over in the Vanarama uh, North League. Our season's almost over, so I'd focus on getting the season over and done with. We can focus on that. Getting the season over and done with. We've got Blythe Spartans on this game. We've got Blythe Spartans. We've signed a few players, but the season's going to be over in a month. Kit Elliott has agreed a loan deal. To st st We've got Blythe Spartans, an 8th place team in this league. Hopefully we can stay up in this league and compete at this level. Because of a lot of our players leaving at the end of the season, it's considering that. Because we are in the Vanarama North. Vanarama National League North. I have put it. One person viewing this stream. We lose against Blythe, but what do you expect? Expect. We've got to. Blythe. Graham Cummings gets another injury. This is shocking. We got Curzon Ashton next. Curzon Ashton next. Mind you, relegation is a threat. We go down. We go down. We're screwed. Simple as. We're screwed if we go down. We're screwed if we go down. We're really screwed if we go down. Because afterwards, after this, I want to start, you know, a non-leader legend save. Uh, why? Because I'm still in line with 48, 137, because so you just say down all the points today. What do you mean? Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. We discuss it. Let's just focus on the game. Focus against Curse and Ashton to get the points and then... Focus because we got Curse and Ashton next on the. Oh my! Let's just do it, bro. We win against Curzon Ashton 2 0. It's key because we could stay up. Could stay up. He's twisted his knee. We got the result, of course. We got the result. It was a top performance. We played well. Focus on the game, controlled the game. And Colston, the vet veteran. Because preparing the team. Is a priority. Preparing the team and and this club maybe will flop in a certain situation. But for teams, it's a lot of teams. Nineteenth, three place, twenty second place, Kettering. Mind you, we're just trying to stay up. In this league, and we're losing bloody um, games, and it's not acceptable. Earlier in the season, we had a terrible start to the league season. We were clinging bottom of the league. All the board wants us to do is stay up. I don't think they care about, you know, it's staying up on points. It's staying up. That's just a focus, and. We play Kettering and then we play Warrington. We need points to stay up. We're in a relegation scrap. We can't be uh, missing games and dropping points. It's not simple. It's not simple enough, is it? Hmm. 
so we can't be losing games, can we? We won against Kettering 2-1, two, two which pushes it into 17th place. There's only a few games left of the season. Uh, Ross Young gets a tight hamstring injury. Warrington next at the Citadel. Sounds like something out of Star Wars. Um, anyway, sounds like something out of Star Wars. We've got Warrington, Warrington next, the club from Manchester. We've got Warrington next. And this kid's been handed the Gibraltar call up. I can't care less about the other league. I couldn't care less about the other league. I couldn't care less. All I want to do is just stay up. And that's the thing. All I've got to do is just stay up in this league. Just play for a win. We, if we stay up, we stay up. It's a clear understanding of... <sighs> it's simple as... Come on, come on, come on, get a win. Like, I hope in our next, in our next series, we're probably going to be doing a non league to legend on Football Manager or a journeyman save. Because I'm probably going to do a journeyman save on Football Manager, but I just don't know where to start. Like, I'm thinking, like, a journeyman save, if we start in, like, a Gibraltar league, and then we work our way up into, uh, like, Spain or something. Like, it'd be fun to do Gibraltar, or like, a league that doesn't really get meant much attention in FM. Like, we start unemployed, we do not have many qualifications. It's similar to this, but because I, st I chose, like, we start at a club, and then we just work our way up. Simple as, I just want to work our way up and stay up in the league. Um, system because this non-contract kid for a sign from Gibraltar is doing good he's, do he's doing a good job he doesn't cost any money because he's uh, from Gibraltar isn't he cost any money but as soon as clubs swoop in for my non-contract players In these non-league squads, it's high, high turnover and with youngsters being handed call-ups. Mind you, it's Buxton. Mind you, we're playing far. We're playing Buxton in 16th place. All we got to do is at least stay up. If we go down to the eighth tier, then no, I'll be sacked. It's simple as I'll be sacked. We've had a terrible season. Why would I care about Scarborough Flake? It's a big match for our survival and we could stay up in the league. I want to stay up. Doesn't everyone else want to stay up? It's simple as. Everyone else wants to stay up. Uh, in this league, everyone else wants to stay up. We all want to stay up in this league. In the league. We all want to stay up, and this is a big game which could, you know, at least save the season. Many players, this good big game that could save the season and keep us up in the Vanarama North League. Other clubs don't really care, but managers like me, like I am, mainly a caretaker boss, don't win games. They're mainly concerned. We get a win, 
a 2-1 win, which pushes us up to 16th place in the league on 45 points. Now, there's no chance we're going to get in the promotion fight. A bottom half finish in the table will do us good. Um, because we've played, we've, we've got five matches to go in this season. Chester's got a playoff spot, but we, we're just here just to here for the experience of staying up in this league. We just want to stay up. We don't want to... Mind you, if the plan is simple to... Resign at the end of the season. It's simple as resign at the end of the season and aim for a better job. Give this, give it my all till the end of the season, and then focus on getting another job, another contract. Devlin's eligible for a pro contract, but we got to give him a contract because the kid wants a contract. At this stage, we don't have to pay much for the seventeen-year-old, but. It's non-league, <laughs> you know. We offer, we give our kids contracts. Contracts. Because we play Tamworth, so, you know, we're a good team. But they're in eighth place in the league. This league is not good for me. Now, this Gibraltar kid, he was playing in the main Gibraltar team. As they got a win over Lithu Lithu Lithuania. It was good, you know. We we lost six nil to Halifax. Halifax. Who's Cameron Kyle? You know, he's on non contract. We ain't got a choice. We ain't got a choice. These non league clubs will just poach our players. They'll just poach them because they're not on contract and they're just being signed. We can't stop that. If they're they're the players, they're not on a contract, we can't sign them. And I mean, we're in April. My contract does not run out until the end of the year. I want to save the club some money, so that's why I, I probably will resign. I'm not taking part in deadline day because we have no financial, we have no cash available. Specifically, there's a lot of players in this system. Tactics. A lot of the system is being played well. A lot of players are going to be set for release from the club. And it's simple as. Older players will work in the system. That's why I've made loans and stuff like that in. Because the money is just not good enough at this stage in this non-league. It's non-league. You can't function in a team with a bunch of old, old guys. When half of them are winding down their careers. And, um, of course we get bat bat beaten up by Tamworth. 4-0. Listen, we've lost 23 matches in this league. And we're somehow still outside of the relegation spots. But FC United are in the relegation fight. But fans are happy with Michael Daly since signing there. I believe in Michael's ability. Of course I believe in uh, Daly's ability to lead the club and take us forward. It's simple. You know, signing a bunch of old stars from the past will, will save a club. And that's just got to be, it's the way it's got to be because the clubs don't invest in young stars. Because if you invest in young stars at this stage, you're going to go into... Uh, administration we there is not much we got Macclesfield Macclesfield next it's gonna be a lot t t tougher at this stage of the season you know just to bring in the players I want to bring in in my tactical vi vi vision is a uh, well, Barwell has signed a 20-year-old centre-back, but listen, they can do what they want. They can either scrap all they want. Why would I care about Archie Gray? 
I don't care if he's a wonder kid, but he wouldn't, you wouldn't, um, he's a 19 year old kid from Leeds, what's, he's he on 12,000 pounds a week, look at this, Archie, Archie, look at Archie, we'd agree to pay 71 million, no we would not pay 71, Leeds strong financial mission, we're not pressured into selling him, Arsenal has 71. We don't have 71. Mi oh, Archie Gray is a good kid, but why would we sign him? You know, he's done good for Leeds, but we can play. We can, listen, impending retirement, that's why I'm trying to do it, you know. He's recently signed his deal, so. Delay. I'll delay in my decision. Delay decision. So it's my doff. He's in pending retirement because he's on two hundred pounds a week. Because you are, you are going to be released. You're going to be released. Jordan Carroll. He signed a contract. Enough time remaining on current contract. Delay decision. And Graham Holmes on ninety pounds a week. He is in pending retirement. Set for release. And Graham Cummins. The he's on three hundred and seventy-five pounds a week. We're not offering him a deal because he does not want to talk because he's retiring. That's why I've... a lot of players aren't willing to talk because they're set to retire. Releases are going to happen, but the club's going to have to make decisions. And people, just Michael Coulson, James Curtis, Graham Holmes, Gary Hamilton, and Neil Lewis will going to retire from football next month. The former Scarborough for his father's top scorer winning 27 in 45 matches. 27 in 45. A bunch of old stars are starting to call it a day, but it's simple. They can do what they want. There are a bunch of passed up players who have signed for us on a big contract. You know, uh, look at Southport, Sheffield United. A lot of kids getting released on their contracts because. Not many clubs can uh, afford them. And listen, I'm not a manager who is willing to lead a club for the long term. I'm more of a short term fix, you know. I never got a team relegated. I've kept them up. I've kept teams up. Looking at the relegation scrap. Uh, uh, I think Scarborough's automatically up. Chester, South Shields, Kidder Minister, Kings Lynn, Bly, Foxford, Tamworth are in the playoff spots. But looking at the relegation scrap, already down are Rushnall and FC United, Kettering, Leamington. We're on f Kettering, Leamington. We're looking at Kettering, Leamington, Warrington and Farsley. We could all go down. And it's simple. Current has reached his 100th game in this, this way, Macclesfield in the Vanarama North. Former Chelsea manager. A brief charge between December and June 2024 and moved on to become the manager of Farsley. I'm not interested. Not many players are fit because the squad's just not good enough. We're not fit enough to play, and simple as. The 5th of April We win against Macclesfield, which is pushing us away from the relegation fight. Teams, Kingsland and Kidder Minister secure their playoff hopes. Kingsland. We need to get promoted to the 
or at least get a better job because i think next season could be the season we get a national league job even if it's something like a relegated league two side we could turn them into something good we got darling and next kettering fall kettering have been relegated a lot of teams are falling down the leagues a lot of teams are falling down the leagues falling down we were in the relegation fight but we could find ourselves in the middle of the pack a mid table finish just to save our campaign and it's simple as I hope we can get saved, but I don't have a clue. If we can get ourselves safe and get ourselves out of the relegation zone. Because a lot of those players are being named in the team of the week. And good for them, I guess, but like there's a Ma there's a Macedonian. Wait, there's a Macedonian player? He's got five star. Signing him on a youth contract for two years. A youth contract? We're announcing our youth intake? I'm only going to take the best players in. There's this kid from Australia I'm going to take in. He looks like he looks good. He's £5 a week until June 2027. £5 per week. I think Michael Murphy and uh, Nathan Turner are going to join us as well. Stays. They're joining us on a fiver a week because they're youngsters. They're just kids. They're not actual pro players. And then there's also going to be Nathan Turner joining us for £5 a week because they are youngsters joining us for next season. We've sorted out a few players have been set to release. They have been set to release. And listen, clubs... Currently not where it is. The tactical style it will take time just to implement my style onto this football club and So we got Darling and We get a win against Darlington, which pushes us up to 15th in the league. Which is good enough for us, because Blythe's got a playoff spot. Good for them. Good for them. Good for them, I gather. Good for them. Good for them. Good for them. Leamington, I think Leamington have also gone down to the eighth tier of English football. We we are really struggling. We are struggling. We need to get a win today. We need to get a win. We need to get a win against Kidham in the Starriers. We need to get a win.
honestly dead. Right. Sign a youth contract. Sign the contract. Sign it. Come on. Sign it. Contract. Sign a bloody contract. Sign the contract. A lot of players do have experience. Listen, we're not falling down the leagues. We're not doing it. We're not falling down the league. It's simple as. We're not falling down the league. We get a draw nil-nil. Which still keeps us in the middle of the pack. In the middle of the table. Oxford City are in the playoff. Playoff places. City. We've got Brack League next. Scarborough's wins the league. McCallum, we're not, he's not moving, because I'm honestly leaving the club at the end of the season, I have no idea what to do, um, next, you know, secretly, I don't get why, um, Why do I care about the coefficient spot? It doesn't benefit me. Listen, it's the final game of the campaign. We can at least get 14th place here. We can get 14th place here. And then we can win this league. We can win and at least achieve a mid-table finish, which will be alright for us anyway. We got Brackley in the final game of the season, which, I mean... Get in! We get the win, which keeps us 15th. True dominance. Season's over. We gotta see what the board says. If they offer me a new contract, if they don't, well, the board set an initial budget of five thousand and twenty-five pounds per week and a transfer budget of forty-four thousand point four four one k. The values may be altered because of the season's expectations. Mind you, we kept them up, and if they're not willing. To Liverpool win the cup. I couldn't care about the reserves. I couldn't care less about the reserves. Reminder to vote what? Piss off. I'm not voting nothing. What's Porter down? Porter down seven game wins. The Kinch Premiership. East Fife. East Fife are in the Scottish League 2 playoff. Northampton have been relegated. I mean, there's a lot of clubs getting... Did Motherwell win the Scottish Championship? Which is good for them. Good for them. Good for them if you're a football fan. Good for them. 
Good for them. Good for them. Because listen, my contract is set to expire soon. If the board's not worried about players who which will be released on their contracts, they know something's up in April and May. And listen, I've fulfilled my commitment as the manager of this football club. I uh, maybe it's maybe it's time to. He's pleased. He's pleased, but the confidence in me as a coach, not so good enough. I think. I think. Um. Thing is, my contract January, February, March, April, May, June. My contract expires in June, and I fulfilled those commitments. My contract expires in June, but I fulfilled my commitments as the coach. Uh, good luck <laughs> with the media effect. I think there's a reason I just couldn't get the club forward. We struggled very well. There's a reason. Uh, uh, down. <laughs> Swing's position. Position fifteenth place. Following a four match swing record for lowest Van Arm and Orphanage since twenty twenty four when it ended the season sixteenth. Just so I'm going to continue. Steps down at the Citadel because finished the season following Listen, my job is simple. They want a new boss now. Get a new boss, uh, if I couldn't continue at the club, it was simple as, we could not continue, uh, we're just looking for jobs as the managers, look at this, Farsley, Gary McCann to get hired by the Vanarama North Club, <laughs> a lot of jobs, could, I could get hired by a football club, Everton, is that Everton, Everton have been promoted from the championship, but a lot of clubs will not want me as the coach. They do not want me as the... Guardiola could leave Manchester City, of course. They cannot replace him. They will not replace him. They cannot replace Pep Guardiola as the head coach of uh, uh, Matt Taylor. How are they untouchable? You can't consider a manager untouchable because the managers... Listen, the board... I'm not a man. I fixed the team. I committed myself to the season. I committed myself for a season at the club. And we weren't making progress. We. I was here for a short term fix. It was simple. I was only here to stop. And managers come and go. And I said, if a club from another country comes up and. Wants me as the coach, then it's their choice, really. Uh, it depends on what the team wants. And listen, they've got to know what they want. And listen, a savior from relegation is simple. No trophies, no domestics. But what Farsley being sacked from left Farsley at the end of the my, I fulfilled my commitment. I confirm my resignation because the contract, I don't think it would have been late just to get it sorted. So now we're on the job hunt, looking for a job. Probably in a better league and probably in the Vanarama. Farsley knew, but it was not to me. we got to look at jobs. Forest Green Rovers, we're going to declare interest in Forest Green. Um... Is that Scottish Championship? Rafe Robers in a Scotland adventure? Could be good. Luton Town, Cambridge United. I'm going to decline interest in that job. Cambridge United, Leighton Or. Why would Dean Smith want to go to Northern Ireland? I don't get that. Why would Dean Smith want to go to Northern Ireland? Good <laughs> forest Rafe Rovers and Bridge. 
There is many in declaring interest in those jobs, in those positions. Because I'm a good manager. I'm a good manager of players, people, person. Um, if they want to offer me the interview, they can. What are you on about Sean Dyche? Oh, yeah, Sean Dyche. Sean Dyche wins the championship with Everton. Sean Dyche and he's got the lockets. So... Liverpool's won the Premier League, the Carabao Cup and the UEFA Super Cup. Good for them. Well, I've eyes the forest game. Are you open to dropping down the leagues? Definitely open to suggestion. My job is a very important job. I am the coach of a prestigious uh, club. We are very open to the possibility of promotion. Um, what have I got to say, really? Uh, Difficult for me to to. Why would I care about Brentford? There's a lot of jobs. Hull have been promoted from the Championship into the Premier League. I mean, I could be an inter interim manager somewhere. If you know if a club wants me, Rochdale four to Alders trying the Vanarama National Playoff. There's so many teams in the playoff, and it's simple as if clubs sack me, so you wait until sack me, I mean, they've got a job till the end of the season. Probably is a Sam Allardyce sort of player of, of the football manager. In the FM, South Shields have been promoted from the North League. Of course, South Shields got promoted from the playoff. They can do what they want. The Bold's been sacked by Lincoln City. I don't know, yeah, he's 62 years old. Of course they're going to sack him. Listen, we're just going to declare interest in the job. Lincoln City has already been relegated. And Ketley Hearts, so we're just going to declare interest into the club. Ties to sets down on Kelty Hearts in Scotland. Uh, Lincoln, Kelty Hearts, it's simple. A move to Scotland could save my career. Save my credibility as a coach. A footballer. Listen, if Forest Green wants to hire me, give me a contract. It's their choice. I'll work for the vegans. As long as they give me a good paycheck each week. 750 quid. I'll take it. It's a job at the end of the day. Forest Green, I've got to give me a job. Mm -hmm. I'm Farsley need Farsley need a co coach and you know. They're probably going to give their manager till the end of the season. Your <laughs> departure from Farsley. I'm looking at it in a positive light. Uh, no real regrets. But I can't control fate. It's, uh, you know, we've got to just give it some time. And if it's Forest Green in the National League. Oh, I don't care about De Zerbe. What's De Zerbe going to do? I'm not going to get the Newcastle job. I was born in Brescia. I don't care about De Zerbe. This is her being joined in 2024. Why would they hire Roberto De Zerbi? Sacked. The well, Saudis have sacked Roberto De Zerbi. Roberto De Zerbi and there are so many jobs. I mean, and Steve Harper's in charge of the temporary team affairs till the end of the season we need to find a job because you know if we don't we don't find a job i'm going to be shocked there is these there's so many jobs in the leagues even if we have to wait until december it's job hunting uh job hunting on the job center i suppose
Well, Dean Smith got sacked. Three thousand eight hundred. Let's let's just have a chat. I've applied for the job, but Nigel Pearson's been sacked by Leighton Orient. You know, it's disappointing at this stage of the season with Nigel Pearce being sacked. It's simple. I've uh, looked at jobs. Torquay, maybe, probably, because could they could give me a job. Buxton, Welling, you know, they're back in the South, Vanarama, South League, Newport, they're not going to hire me. Stringer's been sacked by Welling, Cordobain's been sacked, Buxton sacked Craig Elliott, Noble, Gary Johnson, Lock Hall, Leighton Orient, Torquay, I'm just trying to hold out and hope for the best options. And the sake that the club is in the process. And this will take time. If the club's in a takeover matter and I join Lothal after Dean Smith's departure, would I be a perfect fit in the Northern Ireland League? Probably not, but knowing me, I probably will get the job at the end of the day. It's, you know, it's a job. And um, If Buxton want to give me the job, Buxton, they can go for it. I'm not... Let's now apply, apply for what? Apply, apply for the job. It's simple. Buxton with Buxton. You know, as Chelmsford, I was the former Chelmsford director. But if Buxton wants to go me a job, they can go for it, and the board of directors want to understand. And you know, as if I'd be the Burnley manager. I don't have the time to be the Burnley manager, and I don't. <laughs> It probably won't be good at this level because I'm looking for a job in my contract. Listen, I moved to a new league, into the Northern Irish League. Maybe we will continue it, maybe we won't. It's simple as. So Tamworth sat their manager. We'll apply for the Tamworth job. They're all right. Tamworth of good financials, but it's subject to review. Of course it is. And if Tamworth care, yeah, but Tamworth won't hire me. It's simple as. Listen, there's a lot of jobs available, but listen. Sligo Rovers in the Irish Premier League. Shocking, it's not acceptable, is it? I mean, I've got to just understand. Got a look at the jobs and East Fife in the Scottish League, the Scottish League Two. Three Farsley, they're probably gonna hire someone. Wilston, Torquay, Welling. Then Aloha, they're in Scotland. Peterhead, don't know where they are. But we're just gonna 
give them my job. Tamworth, we've already applied for that. Job. East Fife, looking elsewhere. Dundee FC have sacked another manager. And Peterhead have sacked another manager. Well, let's look at Dundee. Where's Dundee FC? Dundee. Dundee, F Dundee FC will apply to be the manager. Jamie, why would they want Jamie Carragher as their boss? Why would I care? East Fife, Welling, Aloha, Peterhead, Dundee. <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of jobs. Low Lemmington. Bradbury stepped down as South Shields coach. Dulwich Hamlet manager Tom Bridges stepped down. Northampton managers stepped down. Maidstone's managers stepped down. Rushnell's managers stepped down. Kettering stepped down. Gosport's manager Lemmington. A lot of managers are quitting their jobs. It's simple. A lot of managers are quitting their jobs. Because they're non-league managers. They're not here. Willstones. Look at the new Willstone boss. Uh, simple. Northampton Town. Leighton Orient. We've already applied for a lot of jobs in this week. South Shields. Plenty of jobs. Buxton. Welling. Uh, West Brom. We're not going to get the job at West Brom. But we're just looking at jobs. Maidstone United. We're just looking at jobs. I'm not asking Willstone, Northampton, South Shields, and Maidstone. We're just applying for as many jobs as possible because, you know, I'm the big, I'm the biggest free agent in the world. So a lot of retirement, a lot of retirement, but available jobs is West Bromwich Albion. He probably will not hire me because they're in the Championship. Pep Guardiola is probably done. Finn Arps, go look at this. Farsley will probably not hire a manager. Because if Farsley want me back, then they'll have to give me money. And simple as, they will not get me back. It won't be a while. They won't get me back. My contract will probably expire by then. Simple as, I don't care. So, Alan Pardew has been sacked by Exeter. I guess Exeter is my next um, my job and the next place I'm heading to. And Exeter is next, I'm guessing. Exeter is next. Why is Exeter? Why is Exeter City? Exeter, Exeter, Exeter. I meant Exeter City, Exeter. There we are. Apply to Exeter. I'm trying to. We've been successful at Kelly Hart because they've already hired a boss. How would I go to Finn Arps? Yeah, good. It's going to take time. I look forward to return. Exeter's. Give me a job, bro. Give me a job. Why do I care, bro? Give me a job, bro. Give me a job, man. Give me a job. Give me a job. Give me an absolute job. Give me a job. Come on, team, give me a job, please. Oh, my God, oh, my 
Christ. We've unsuccessful at Laug goal. Who's Johnston? 53 year old. Who is he? Martin Waghorn. Exeter side, a new manager, Aloha. Oh, Tamworth. Oh, yes. Tamworth. I can work at the lamb ground. Get in. I want £400. It's a deal if it's £400. £400. It's a deal. It's a one-year contract. And I'm going to be at the lamb ground for a season. The lamb ground. Ooh. Appointed head coach of Tamworth. The lamb ground. Uh, last season we finished 8th place. In the FA Cup. We joined a better club. And Tamworth for a good club. We, we joined the team Tamworth in the lamb ground. As a non-league journeyman. Another team in the lamb ground. Another season as a manager. We're going in Tamworth. And that is going to be the end of the stream. Because.